Hey guys, Michael here. Um, this is a very, very brief video on the, uh, the latest alert that I provided on the, uh, on the 15th of, um, of June, Wednesday, end of day on Guild. Uh, I didn't have time to do another one, but uh, there are some other opportunities. Um, there's been a lot of talk in places about, uh, about uh, Tom's options tools versus maybe some of the other like vendors to Tom. Actually, the, the, um, the developer of Tom's um, has um, some private stuff, but this here is actually something not available through that vendor um, or the, the, the lower cost version. And this is Tom's. Um, and this is why actually Tom's has got the value. Um, so it's called a money calendar and it uh, provides me or subscribers to Tom some visibility of uh, some very unique types of trading that is based on historical um, success um, so that they, they actually go back 10 years and you can see if you if I click on the day uh, the 15th actually has a total of 130 candidates and uh, 127 of them are bullish, three of them are bearish. Okay, and this just goes basically based on, on history. So when I click on that, I get a list of stocks. And what this basically tells me is, for example, Netflix um, is, gives a time period of buying on the 15th of June, selling on the, July, on the 15th of July, and doing that over the last 10 years had this result. So 10 years ago, nine years ago, eight, and you can see it's going up and there's been one year where there was a loss. Obviously you couple this with options and hopefully you can get a really good, um, really good payback. So anyway, uh, I do the scan at the end of the day, every day. And when I see things uh, that are on my list, things that I track and I've got time, I'll go off and I'll actually take a look. And two actually came up today. Uh, there's a lot of different things I do, but the two that came up were, were um, Guild and also um, Target. So let me just show you Guild. Uh, Guild, if you buy on the 15th of June and you sell on the 18th of, Ju July, uh, of July, basically these were the results of the stock itself. So you actually have a have a pretty good average. Um, things are a little choppy and, and you don't really have a, a trend of going up, which is usually what I like to do. But, you know, the, the returns here have actually been really, really decent if you just do that with one losing year, which was uh, back in 2015. So when I see this, I'll, you know, if these are stocks that I'm tracking, what I'll do is I'll go and take a look at the chart. Um, obviously, I don't want to rely on everything. But so I went and I, I took a look at the chart of, of um, Guild. And I liked what I saw. Um, we've got, first of all, we got earnings on the 27th of July, which is uh, just after uh, the period of time that uh, the Tom's is showing me. So you're looking at July 18th. So, so earnings is after that. I can position an option expiring just after earnings. Um, and then, um, you know, hopefully get some volatility rise and then taking a look at the chart. You know, what does it actually mean? It's like, well, you know, we're, we're, we were way down there uh, bouncing on a three standard deviation, Bollinger Band, uh, previous resistance, possible do double bottom. And you go back in time and, you know, it was back down here back in 2020. It's been a long time and it's, you know, it's, it's, uh, it bounced there and it bounced resoundingly. Um, it's not confirmed yet. So, you know, there's, there's a few other things that I want to do with this. So looking at that, I said, you know what, I'm going to take a shot at this. It's, it's oversold, um, you know, on these big picture things, I use the 20 EMA and the 50 EMA. Yes, there is a crossover. It's a bearish, but you know, we're kind of in that waffle period, getting down on resistance. It we're, it's worth it for me to take a shot and bring it up. Okay. So, um, you know, what's my target? Well, the target, usually when I do these things, and I'll just kind of give you a little bit of target setting on how I do this, um, that crossover becomes my target right there. Um, and it's, you know, whether it gets there or not, I don't know, we'll see, but that's the target, you know, 62.40. So, um, and if we can do that, we can really bounce. If we can confirm tomorrow, then I'm, this, this is, becomes very intriguing. So what I like to do in these cases is like, you know what? I'm going to take a shot. I'm going to take a shot with an all-in type of play 
250 bucks, which represents about two and a half percent of a $10,000 account. Um, and if I'm right, if I'm right, let me repeat, if I'm right, then I'm going to double down. So if we get a confirming candle, I will double down. I'll, I'll actually add to my position. So, um, so anyway, looking at this saying, yes, I, I think this has got a low risk where I'm wrong, 57.23, um, high reward uh, with, a, with a move of four bucks that corresponds to what has happened over history over the last 10 years. Um, in a lot of years, I felt that this was worth worth a uh, that, that low risk, high reward type of um, uh, scenario. OK, so um, the other one that came up on this and you can look at this also and take a look and decide whether you want to do that. Uh, you know, tomorrow it's up to you. But the other one that came up on that was Target. Um, so, uh, you know, let's go in here and look at Target just so you can see what um, what the what this involves. Um, Target TGT right here. And again, this is something I've been watching as well, and uh, I just didn't have time to actually go off and do the analysis. But Target has had a positive growth, that, but it's not really been a huge amount of gain. But you know, these gains three dollars, two dollars, uh, you know, on, on this stock is not too bad. And then, of course, uh, it skews things way up. Back in 2021, one year ago, we had a twenty-eight dollar gain over this period of time. So. Um, I generally, I'm, I'm kind of staying a little bit away from retail right now, but, uh, but you know, from June 15th to July 21st, if you get that average um, gain of $4.88 on a stock that's, uh, you know, uh, what, what, what is Target, it's um, TGT, $240, it's, got, it's, not, it's not huge, okay, so... Um, you know, I didn't alert this because I wasn't able to do additional analysis. And I, quite frankly, I'm not really sure if I would go into this at this point. Um, maybe it could be worth some kind of um, a butterfly or something like that. Maybe maybe I'll do some analysis later on and put some kind of alert out in the next couple of days. Anyway, uh, Guild seemed like a really good play. Um, and then so after doing all this, I didn't want to alert it unless I could see that there's actually volatility in the options. Uh, or, or not volatility, but uh, volume in the options. So I went in and took a look. Normally, I like to do a 30 delta. But uh, in this particular case, looking at, let's see, July 29th, which is just after earnings, I wanted to go into something that had a higher volume. And the first thing I noted was that uh, the there's relatively very, very low volume in all the strikes except for one, which was a 60 call. And that just happened to be about a 39.40 Delta. So um, so this is the one that I chose. Um, I only bought two. Okay. So, um, and uh, I actually got in for $1.55. So I'm in for 310 bucks. I will take a loss. I'll take this all the way. But what my real goal is, is that if we get a confirmation, what I'm going to do is I'm going to double down. Okay. I'm going to bring this up to, uh, you know, maybe I'll add one contract, a couple of contracts, and maybe, maybe my position size will be 600, 650. I'm still only going to manage this to um, a loss of 250 bucks. Again, Low risk, low, low risk, high reward. Um, it was worth it to me to uh, to say, "Yep, I think I want to alert this." So, um, you know, better for for the for the, uh, the premium subscribers here is that uh, you can um, you know wait till tomorrow to see a confirming candle, and then you can go in. So, just just you know, me personally, I'm in already. Um, you know, it's it doesn't mean it's gonna gonna win. I mean, I've got a win loss ratio of sixty five percent. That means that I could be wrong. Um, I am going to be wrong if we actually close below these lows. That's my wrong. That's my my wrong right there. And uh, I've I've got a trade plan as such. Um, so the trade plan is long call pre er type uh, with a forty delta. For 30, but uh, there wasn't enough uh, volume there, and I am in um, two times 
GILD 29, let's say June 29. What did I say? Um, memory is really fading me. 60 call. Um, so I'm in the 60 call. Entry trigger while well, it was EOD. Entry rationale. Um, bounce. Let's see, it's, it's uh, Tom's money calendar plus a bounce on support. Technical stop, one close below support. I'll put the number in later. I don't just want to do it. Technical target. Um, technical target really is kind of up there uh, around uh, 64 to 65, that line that I put on. Position size, this is an all-in. Um, so I'm actually at uh, about 310 bucks. Um, stop loss. Stop loss is minus 250. So this is really all in. Profit target as much as effing possible. Time stop. Uh, the time stop is going to be um, ER. Additional. Um, if stock confirms, bounce, double down. Okay. And then I'm planning on selling half at 100% ROI um, and adjust to something else. Could be a butterfly, could be something else. Uh, so that's that's my trade plan. This will get printed off. I mean, I'll, I'll probably put a few more uh, tidbits in here as, uh, as uh, I, I close off this quick video. So uh, hopefully this is of use. Uh, again, this is for premiums only and uh, gives you a little bit idea of where I'm going with this particular alert. Cheers, everyone.